With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, welcome to the doubtnet. Now the question is find integration one upon four cos square x plus nine sine square x into dx. Now let us consider i is equal to integration one upon four cos square x plus nine sine square x into dx. Now in the next step. If we divide numerator and denominator by cos square x, so in denominator in numerator we get sec square x and in denominator we get tan x. So we know that differentiation of tan x is sec square x. So the whole term convert into t and a most integrable form. So in the next step, divide numerator and denominator by cos square x. So in the next step, integration i is equal to integration one upon cos square x upon four cos square x upon cos square x. This is four plus nine sin square x upon cos square x. We know that sin square x upon cos square x is tan square x. So this is nine tan square x into dx. So in the next step, we can write i is equal to one upon cos square x is sec square x. So this is integration. sec square x into dx upon 9 tan square x plus 4 now let us consider tan x is equal to t so differentiation of tan x is what sec square x into dx is equal to dt now substitute tan x is equal to t and sec square x into dx is equal to dt in the integration so we get in the next step i is equal to integration sec square x into dx is what dt and 1 upon 9 tan square x is tan x is t so this is t square plus 4 now in the next step we can write i is equal to integration 1 upon 9t square means we can write 3t whole square plus we can write 4 is 2 whole square into dt now in the next step assume that 3t is equal to u so let us consider 3t is equal to u So this is what three into dt is equal to du. So dt is equal to one upon three into du. Now substitute three t is equal to u and dt is equal to one upon three du in the integration. So i is equal to integration one upon three t means u square plus two square into dt is what one upon three into du. Now in the next step, one by three is a constant, so take outside from the integral. So this is i is equal to one upon three integral one upon u square plus two whole square into du. Now we know that formula is one upon x square integration one upon x square plus a square into dx is equal to. We can write one upon a tan inverse x upon a. Use this formula in this question, so we get. I is equal to one upon three. Now one upon a here a is what two, so one upon two tan inverse x upon a means u upon two plus c is the integration constant. Now in the next step we can write i is equal to one upon six three two just six i is equal to one upon six tan inverse u is what three t and t is tan x so this whole become three tan x upon two plus c. This is our final integration. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.